All right, we are located in front of 2986 Country Woods Lane. This is the front of the home. I'm going to go ahead and pan our, do a panoramic shot here so you can kind of get a feel for what the neighborhood looks like. Too dizzy here. Nice mature oaks in the front here. Go up pretty much all the way away from the house. A couple of them kind of go up over but they you can tell they've been trimmed back fairly well. Two car garage. Give you a sense for what the side here looks like. Fence along the back but along the sides here on the other side there are not any fences or gates. This little uh, concrete step has been lifted up by this tree here so it's a little bit of a step up and you kind of see it's kind of off a little bit but otherwise that can be remedied pretty easy nice mature landscaping come up here to a nice big open area step in out of the weather come through the two double doors this is the formal entryway Got a little formal sitting area here. It's not really wide enough to really put it as a family room or a living room, but you can put a nice accent piece or a, art, a piece of artwork there. Come around here. You can actually see there's a little half wall right here. This is the formal dining area here. And as you can tell, you can actually look all the way through into the uh, pool area. It's kind of hard to tell. There's a haze of light coming in from the sun here. Uh, that's not just a, a washout there. Over here's your master bedroom. Like I said, right over here's your dining room. Down that hallway goes into the family room, the kitchen, and the rest of the bedrooms here. So we'll go ahead and just venture to our left here into the master. Another set of sliding doors here to lead up to the pool area. Get a nice sense of uh, Maybe a little bit of a different view here now with the sun's not directly in our face for the reflection. Come back around. Seems a little dark in here. Not a light kit on the ceiling fan and a nice darker uh, purple on the wall. I know it probably looks a little bit intimidating, but it actually is very rich. Um, and with those colors and with the lack of lighting on the ceiling kit, it makes it feel a little bit darker in here. Come back through here to the master bathroom. You have double sinks right here. Step up, stand up shower. Nice jacuzzi jet tub that uh, works very well. Lavatory there. And then the master walk-in closet. Plenty of space and you can actually put more shelving in there and really maximize that in there. Uh, we have tile in here. And the laminate pergo flooring in here. It kind of has like a, a bamboo-esque look to it. It is not hardwood, um, but it just breaks up the monotony of the tile all throughout. So, piece there, section over here. Nice bank of windows leading out there. Come through here. This is the washroom. This actually right here, this wall was pushed back. The original owners decided, who are the current owners, decided they didn't want the room on the other side here to be a closet. So they pushed this out for additional hanging space. So if you needed a fourth bedroom, you could bring this out into the closet space and make that better. And I'll show you the garage here. Two car garage. Definitely plenty of room. Oversized here you can see you can put um, probably a 36 inch shelving kit over there as well as over there all the way across. So uh, that door leads out to the side. Come back through. And Pan around here. I'm going to go to this bedroom over here that's no longer really being used as a bedroom that I just talked about with the closet. Vaulted ceilings in here as well. Nice and open. This is like a den or an office. And kind of walk around. And as you can tell where that mirror is, that's where the closet would have been. So if you need a fourth bedroom, this could easily be converted. If not, you can kind of see how it's being utilized now. Go back out into this room. This is a uh, Kitchen family room combo, there's a little kitchenette area right there. Pan around over here. Again, a different type of wood flooring, but pretty much the same kind of a laminate. Wood burning fireplace. Lighting up along there. Again, vaulted up. And we'll go into the kitchen. New appliances throughout here. Laminate countertops. 
And as you can see, another sliding glass door leading out to the uh, patio area. Windows throughout. Gives you a sense here, nice and open. You've got like a little soffit all the way around here. You can drop some lights like they've done here. Stand up, uh, um, <laughs> the counter rises up so you can put stools on the back side. And we'll come back around to give you another angle. A lot of rich colors in here, really warms it up really nice. So this kind of gives you a sense of the combo uh, usage of this room here. We'll go ahead and turn right into the back of the home. Second bedroom, same flooring over here. Decent sized closet in there. And then the final bedroom being used as kind of like a little sitting area here. Decent size as well, uh, closet in the back there again, nice size in there too. And this is the second bathroom. This has just been re uh, been redone. Tile goes out, new vanity, and then that door leads out into the patio. So you can access the pool area from just about anywhere in the home, other than maybe this one bedroom here. You pretty much can get out here. So it really makes this whole area here just kind of feels like it pulls into the rest of the home. You've got protection from rain out to this point here and then you've got the cage out here going all the way around very clean pool surface uh, I mean the pool the patio and this um, cage was done in 98 the home itself was built in 94 the surface of the pool is pebble tech and as you can see this whole area here really just kind of invites you to come outside and take advantage of the beautiful weather other than July August and September <laughs> So that pretty much gives you a sense of uh, what the home feels like. Let me turn around and give you another visual of the pool. Overflow spa has a heater, but the heater is not currently working. So that would be something to, to address if you wanted the water to be heated. Again, you, you only really need the water heated for a couple few months out of the year, depending upon your threshold there. We'll go ahead and end it now here.